What's up guys? Today we're at Universal Studios Orlando for the Mardi Gras International Flavors of Carnival. We're gonna check out the new food, the merch, and the new tribute store. So let's go. Let's go. So here's the new tribute store. They got a bunch of Mardi Gras theme inside. So let's go check it out. And some pine glasses. <laughs> I don't know what that smells like. I guess like some sort of berries. Kind of like some sort of sweetness to it. 20 bucks. If you want a candle. I got the band that is not playing. Queen and King. <laughs> hey, that's you and I. Some nice little wine glasses. It makes these little figures here. Here's the next room. Oh, it's like we're outside. Bunch of beads here. This one has a little crawfish on it. Oh, voodoo dolls. I don't know, get one that reminds you of your ex or something. <laughs> Look at this creepy clown. This is a pass holder exclusive Mardi Gras shirt. And it is it's 30 bucks. And we have the speakeasy here. Look at this bar. Here's another mold o -matic. Look at this guy here. The sweets. A trifle cake. Mask brownie. Enrobed <laughs> brownie? Okay. Oh, there goes some bacon. Chocolate dipped bacon. Cookie dough ball, cookie dough ball. These look pretty good, these macaroons. There's a marshmallow pop. Oh, she's going for the cookie dough ball. Yes. And here's the last room. More merch here. There's candles for 20, different scents. And a spirit jersey. This is really cool. It's like 3D puff. Let me see your cookie dough. Oh, I got the little mask, the theater mask. It looks good. Yeah, they didn't let me pick which one I want to try. Oh, they, they kind of just gave you whatever. They, yeah, they gave me whatever, but they were all cute. Let's see. It's mm. bacon maple, maple bacon. It's a little salty, not too sweet. Oh, I, I taste the bacon bit. Mmm, oh my god. That's crunchy. It has like a weird little gritty crunch to it. That's actually really good. Oh my god, can you taste the bacon? Yeah. It has like a nice grit to it. Yeah, it has like a sweet and salty, right? Yeah, not too, not too sweet. Oh, this is good. Central City food. Crawfish uh, shrimp oil and beignets. All right, we got our first drink. It's a uh, Beta Purple Haze from New Orleans. Oh, it's here. Dump it out. There we go. Much better. And this is how much? This is like 12, 12 dollars. Yeah. And it's uh, what? Crawfish, sausage, potatoes. potatoes, and corn. All right, so here's my thoughts on this. So the sausage was good. Had a nice little like. Uh, seasoning type spice to it uh potatoes i think they're actually undercooked yeah the corn has to have all that seasoning but it doesn't have much at all yeah so bland. i guess they i guess they try to cater to the masses which most people i guess don't like spice but if you're eating cajun you gotta like spice yeah. 
Ah, well, a little disappointing, but it's okay. So what do you rate this plate? Uh, maybe three out of ten. That, sound, that seems fair. The potatoes are undercooked, not enough spice. So it needs a ton more seasoning than that. So, yeah. I would pass on this one. I also have a Bloody Mary booth here, if you guys are into Bloody Marys. So here's the thing, here's Belgium, right? But they don't have any Belgian beer. They have the waffles and they have some mixed drinks over there, but they don't have Belgian beer. Now Germany does have beer, and they have Hefenweizens, which are my favorite. Hefenweizens, Kolsch, I don't know what that is. Here's the food choices for Germany. They have a chicken schnitzel. More schnitzel. Potato pancake. Oh, that sounds good. So I just tried this and it's incredibly refreshing. This is a Pilsner. It's not very hoppy. And then this beautiful sun. This tastes delicious. The Denmark booth. Danish red hot dog with curry romelade, pickled cucumber and crispy onions. And a beef and pork meatball and a creamy gravy topped with apple butter and dill. Interesting. Let's check out the drinks. This sounds really good. Meat flight, excellent. This is popular. This is the Japan booth. I'm getting the ube, that sounds awesome. I love the decor, this is awesome. Very popular spot. This is the Okonomiyaki, or the Japan area. And it's really good. The pancake is a little soft. The fixings are really good. I kind of like this. It's good. It is good. I'm not big on like fishy flavors, but this has none of that. I love fishy flavors. Pretty cake. fresh. And it's warm. Yeah. It's not bad. Like a seven. Seven yeah, out of ten. it's a solid seven. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, I've been waiting for this. This is the ube bubble waffle, I think. It yeah. has like this bubble texture to it. So I've been dreaming about ube ever since we went to Hawaii over a year ago. I think it has like Oreo in it. The Oreo is a little weird, but I think it works okay with ube. It's fantastic. This is Pocky, I guess. Let me see this waffle. Um, the bubble waffle. Oh, man. Um, there you go. Eight out of ten. Recommend it. That's good stuff. We haven't seen her in a long time. Yeah. She's so excited. She She's like your number you. one fan. So here she is. Hello. So now we are leaving the Universal Studios side and walking over to the Islands of Adventure because they have more boots over there. We also just picked up our Mardi Gras pass holder magnet from Toon Extra and Toon Lagoon. Free to pass holders. This place has king cake and beignets. Also, if you want a place to eat, they have uh, three little tables here behind that stand with a nice view of the Incredible Hulk. So then you have another booth here. It's kind of hidden. Got this jambalaya and shrimp gumbo. We actually ordered both. We got the uh, gumbo and the jambalaya. So we did take a while to get here because we were riding some rides and we lost light. That's why it's so dark now. So I have to use my phone here for some light. Is that the gumbo? What do you think of the gumbo? It's really tasty. Not very spicy. We got a shrimp here. The shrimp has a good flavor. Could be a spicier though. Yeah, it's definitely not spicy. It needs, it needs seasoning. But it's not bad. What would you rate this? Maybe like a six? That's a solid. Six, seven? Yeah, six, six and a half. Six and a half, okay. Jambalaya is a little bit better. It has more, more seasoning, yeah. 
Got the jambalaya here. Oh god. This one's much better. It has a little, nice little spice to it. Now this is this is how all of them should be. It should be like the spice level should be around this. It has a nice spice. I can continue to feel that spice and it's getting a little bit more and more. This is what I like. What? Eight? Nine? Maybe an eight, yeah. I was thinking eight. We'll do an eight and a half. Eight point five. Even has a little crawfish. Ah, I like this dish. This is probably my favorite one so far in the park. For what we used to the Cajun food, yes. Yeah, it has the Cajun spice, which is what it needs. My last uh, suggestion is. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so this here is the um, the food and beverage card. This is a hundred fifty dollars worth of uh, food. We paid hundred and twenty bucks for it for pass holders. If you're a pass holder, get this. And on top of that, you can use your annual pass and get the to get your 15% discount on top of that at the booths. So 100%, you got to get this. This is very much worth it. You get a $30 discount. And um, yeah, and this works good for uh, food and alcohol. And alcohol. It's a, basically a gift card. Did you enjoy the, uh, the food? I did. I Favorite. did. It was actually, some of them were good. Favorite dish? Favorite dish, definitely the jambalaya. It's, it has a really good spice. So if you're having like a Mardi Gras festival, I want the spice. I want the Cajun flavor. So jambalaya is definitely one of my favorite. Uh, and the gumbo. I, I agree with that. I think the jambalaya was definitely a, a, a proper Cajun dish with that, that spice. Because that's what everything was missing with spice. Unfortunately, you know, yeah. everything was missing spice. But as far as the sweets go so far, the ube was absolutely delicious. Yes. For today, that's that's gonna be it. So we will see you in the next one. We'll see you guys.